me. I'm gonna have to move the mic. It's a pretty crunchy shirt. So we can go back to day two, guys, and then we'll, and then we'll do the plug. All right, you ready to go for one? Uh-huh. Cool. Let's go. Billie Eilish answers increasingly personal questions as the camera moves closer to her face. All right. Cool. And then let's uh, go on the side or two. Identity. How have you been lately? I've been good. Getting, uh, not enough sleep. Any habits that you're trying to break? Ooh. Um. Jeez. Not really. I think, honestly, I'm sleeping, like, going to sleep late. Like, I can't stop, and I would, I would like to, so there's, there's that, definitely. How did you celebrate your 18th birthday? I had a party back when it was legal. Um, it was the best, like probably one of the best nights of my life. We had a bounce house. <laughs> it was good. I went to Taco Bell. It was a good night. Now that you have your driver's license and can vote, are there other everyday life goals you have? That I haven't achieved yet? Um, tons. Um, I don't know. I want to like drive to like Costco and like go get like something from Costco alone. I don't know. Just like grown up. <laughs> go to Home Depot. Some. I don't know. What are you afraid of? Um. Mm. My loved one's well-being, health, anything that has to do in, with that subject. Where do you go to find peace? I take a bath. I drive. I go 120 on the freeway. It's a specific kind of piece, but it is a kind of piece. Don't try it at home. What do you hope the world will look like when you're 80? Girl, I'm not gonna live till 80. None of us are. are you kidding me? We have like 10 years left. Um, if I were to live till 80, I hope, I mean, the world will have to look like this if I even live till 80 because I wouldn't have otherwise, but we got to help the environment. That's what I hope. I hope that the world doesn't say it's over for you bitches and then kill us all. Um, I hope that people are more understanding. I hope that people will just shut the f up sometimes. That's what I hope. When in your life have you felt the most trapped? Um, when I was in a relationship that was a very emotionally abusive. Damn, this is genius. My face getting redder and redder. Are you mad at me for any of that, guys? <laughs> oh, pfft. Fame. What are three words you would use to describe fame? Overwhelming. Um, surreal. And... Um, shocking. What's the best part about being famous? I would say...
I think just, you know, being able to say something and be heard, like, yeah, just having an outlet, having a voice and a platform is amazing and rare and I don't know, there's a lot of good things though, but I would say that that is a very important one and I think I, I try to take that in as much as possible. What's the worst thing about being famous? No privacy, um, ever again, in any way at all. <laughs> Do you ever get the chance to forget you're a celebrity? Sometimes, when yeah, sometimes. I, I think when I'm at my parents' house, when I'm, you know, scootering around, biking around, um, or like in the ocean, weirdly. It's kind of a random one, but there's little things, definitely. What do you hate the most about the internet? Ooh, girl, I hate a lot of things about the internet. Um, I love the internet, too, but... God, what do I hate the most? I think the... I just think everybody believing everything they see just because it's written down somewhere. You know, it could, be, it could be the biggest lie ever and it's like, you just believe it if it's on the internet, it's weird. When in your career did you feel the most vulnerable? The week after the Grammys. Why? Why? <laughs> um, well, because I had just lived through an unbelievable experience and I was filled with joy and excitement and, and, you know, shock and disbelief and, you know, getting compliments left and right. And at the same time, the entire internet was telling me I didn't deserve it. So it was a weird week. It was very, um, it was weird, but who got the Grammys? Me. What one thing would you tell someone who wishes they were you? Don't wish you were me. You, it's not, it's not what you think. And also, you don't want to be anyone but yourself. I cannot stress it enough. I, we, you know, you want to be you. You have your life, and that's that's such a blessing to have your own life. You know, know yourself, and you know, and you can also make your life what you want it to be. And if you were somebody else, you wouldn't be able to do that. You know. I mean, obviously we can't really be anyone else practically, but even if we could, I think we're better off as ourselves. I don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't know how to, <laughs> what the f am I supposed to say? Family. So how's your family? Family's good. Happy and healthy. How do you and your family spend quality time together? Um, we have some weekly dinners, we watch movies, we make fun of people. Quality time. <laughs> and what makes that quality time to you? Um, I think it's just important to keep that up. Like, it's so easy to get lost in, in your life and your work that you forget to make time for the things you don't even think about when you're in it, you know? So, just any time with them is quality time to me. We heard you rescued a dog this year, is that right? Yes. How's that going? It's going good, his name is Shark, he's a little pit bull. Um, he's very goofy looking, he's very stinky. <laughs> I don't know why, as much as I wash him, he just smells. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> What does home mean to you? Home means my childhood home in LA. Um, like that's all. It, like I, honestly, that's all I think of. I don't. I don't think of anything else as home. That house with my family, like on Christmas, that's like what home sounds like to me. <laughs> 
What is the most significant way that your parents influenced you as an artist? Um, well, we had a rule growing up that was kind of a f like household respected thing of just no matter what time it was, you know, no matter how old we were, if we were creating, writing music, playing piano, playing guitar, any instrument at all, we could stay up as long as we were doing that <laughs> um, because it wasn't because, you know, you only have creativity when it comes to you. And sometimes it's really random. Sometimes it's in the middle of the night. Sometimes it's in the middle of the day, wherever, wherever, whenever, you know, with who, whatever. So we had a rule that was just like, no one is going to push that away from you. You get to be creative when you feel creative, which is, I think, really important for us. What about Phineas? How did he influence you? Well, Phineas... <sighs> Phineas influences me all the time. I mean, I wanted to do everything he was doing growing up. Um, I wanted to be friends with the people he was friends with. I wanted to wear what he was wearing and do what he was doing. and So kind of everything. I think that's kind of how it is when you're a younger sibling. And then up until a certain age, and then I was like, Dad, I'm not doing that. I'm doing my own <laughs> When do you feel the most connected to your family? Um, it comes in, in waves. It's kind of random. I mean, it's, you don't even, I feel like I don't even realize that it's happening until afterwards. Um, but kind of all the time. I mean, I love my family and I'm always with them and, you know, they come on tour with me. So it's all the time. It's really all the time. Um, and you know, Oh, it's it's random again it's like sometimes it's late at night when I'm like randomly have a feel a real moment of whatever I don't know it's all the time when do you feel the most distant from them I think when you know we don't see eye to eye or they can't understand what I'm talking about or when I can't understand what they're talking about whether it's just that I don't under, like I can't, I've never experienced it or they've never experienced it or it's just a, a disagreement. Um, but then again, like with all relationships, you have days or weeks or months where things are off, you know, they're just not the same as they would be normally. And then you have days where things are amazing. It's just how it is with any relationship in the world. You got good days and you got weird days and you got bad days and you got average days this is how it is and that's fine with me I like that one I think that was great work how's work work is good working hard <laughs> is there anything you're obsessed with right now uh, honestly, there's this chocolate milk I've been drinking. It's really good. <laughs> it's like a, it's like one of those drinks. It's like a meal in a drink. It's like I got all the, all the protein in there. I don't know how it works, but it's good. It's called what? For a farm? Kate Farm. Kate Farm. Swire. <laughs> what do you love most about a mosh pit? Ooh. The freedom. Oh my God, I haven't felt that since I've been in one. But, ah, uh, I, I always felt that a mosh pit is just like a bunch of mother that don't care. I love it, I love it. Nobody's looking at you, nobody's judging whatever you got going on. It's just energy and I love that. There is nothing like that. What's your favorite Beatles song? I love something. I love Julia. I love You Never Give Me Your Money. I love Anna Go To Him. I love Maxwell Silver Hammer. Gosh, I could go on and on. I love the Beatles. What's the one song you listen to when you want to feel free? Maybe you don't get me high anymore, Fanagram, 
or tear you apart. She wants revenge. Mm. The flavor. Love that song. What's the biggest way that other art forms influence your music? I really get influenced by everything. I mean, I, I couldn't really put a pin in it and tell you. Um, that is not the that is not the sentence. That's not the phrase that I meant at all. <laughs> put a pin in it. Um, I'm not even gonna try to come up with what phrase I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, I get inspired by all sorts of things, everything visual, um, fashion, uh, like you know patterns and fabric and things people say and you know my dreams it's really all over the place I get inspired by everything like to a fault I can't keep myself from it is there a film that deeply changed or affected you the Babadook Fruitvale Station we need to talk about Kevin uh get out yeah, those are the favorites. If you weren't singing and creating music, what career path would you be pursuing? I always thought that I would be like a backup dancer for artists, <laughs> which is ironic. Um, or, um, well, I mean, I used to think I would just work at Jamba Juice and just live my life. Honestly, either Jamba Juice or like Trader Joe's. That's where I thought I'd work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's the biggest difference between your creative process now versus when you were working on When We All Fall Asleep? Ooh, biggest difference. Honestly, everything is different. Like, we really haven't done anything the same. We haven't made any of it in the same place. We've, we've grown so much in just the way that we create. I've been writing so much more and honestly so much better than I ever have. I feel like, I feel like a different person. Like I really couldn't be happier with what I've been creating and like couldn't be prouder of myself than I am about what I have, I feel that I've created. What's the most important thing to remember when you're dealing with extreme amounts of pressure? You'll die, and then it won't matter. It's what I always say, and everybody is always like, oh, oh give me a better, no, it's what I, it's literally what I, th it's all I think about, and I, I, it brings me peace, and I, that might sound weird, it might not work for you, but to me, I just think about how all life is is just life, and it's really not that deep, and you should be nice to people while you have it, and you should be, you should take care of the planet and take care of people and take care of, you know, fight for your rights and fight for others. But you got to remember that it just, it's just life, nothing more. And just have fun and be nice and don't do stupid <laughs> but you'll die one day and you won't have to think about it anymore. <laughs> That's what I think. Is that bad? I don't know. Makes me feel better.